if a sheep died, the best way to like really preserve its memory is to eat their dead body. Well, like use it. Yeah. Have you ever had any family members that have died recently? So do you think lions should be vegan? I'm not debating a lion. I'm debating you. Bear eat baby deer. Yeah. Otherwise, the bear would die. Yeah. And will you die if you don't violate animal rights? I would rather die than eat vegan bacon. A hundred years ago, you wouldn't be able to survive being vegan. I'm not debating you in a time machine, dude. My family, they know where we're getting our produce from. We know that the farmers will buy it, treat the animals fairly. I would believe you, but you're eating out of Burger King, so like most of the world eat meat, though. Most of the world eat meat because most of the world are dis disconnected, like you are. I mean, you don't even want to see the footage. That says a lot. You twisted it to make me sound like a bloody like, Nazi or something. It is Nazi thought. All right, so here we are. We've got Burger King behind me. We're in Leicester Square, London. Going back to the old school days, mate. Back to 2019. But we've got a table that says veganism is a moral obligation, meaning I believe you have a moral obligation to be vegan, minimum. And uh, we're going to see what the public think about that and see if we can get some good discussions about animal rights. Let's go. Obligation. It means you have to do it. Do you ever just like fancy like a, a nosh and a pig? Come and tell me about it. Sometimes I get home from like, you know, a bender and I just start like fancy a nosh and a pig. Nosh and on a pig? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, like a fully grown live pig or? Nah, just like bacon, you know? I like bacon. Like a, a piece of a pig that's been killed? Yeah, yeah. And you're asking if I fancy that? Well, obviously I, I believe that animals should have like similar rights to human beings, so. so. When was the last time you ate meat? The last time I ate meat was when I was 26. And what made you stop? You know how you experience the world right now. You can yeah. see me, you can hear, you can feel. If I punch you in the okay. face, it will hurt. If you punch me in the face, it will hurt. Yeah, I hope not, yeah. So we don't punch each other in the face because we yeah. have a mutual respect for each other's experience, you know, like causing exactly, each yeah. other suffering. Yeah. And if I booted a dog in the head or stabbed him with a knife in the eye for no apparent reason, you'd probably say, why did you do that? You yeah. absolute psychopath. For the same reason like that we care about the experiences of each other and experiences of the dog, yeah. I extend that to other animals who are exactly the same in terms of But do you not think like, you know how lions sometimes like kill other animals? Like, you know, like, do you not think that's just natural? Why would I care about what's natural? Because like, you know, like we need like some sort of stuff from the meat, don't we? You're making two different arguments. In one breath, you're saying lions shred other animals, it's natural. Yeah. But when I'm talk discussing like, what is a moral obligation? Why would I care about what happens in nature? Because like, well, we're technically like we're part of nature, aren't we? So, so you think that we should act how animals act in nature? Well, like, it's not like, it's it kind of unnatural not to eat meat. Like, we've no, done no, it for 2,000 years. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm just talking about shredding animals alive. Should we do that? Well, no, that's just like, that's like a um, big all... version of, oh, he's got no, 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 one second, one second. If you want to jump in, do you want to jump in? Yeah. What he's saying is that we, we, because something happens in nature, like lions do horrible things to other animals and they eat yeah, exactly, yeah. out of necessity, then we basically have a justification to do horrible things and eat but, but, well, I, A lot of the, the technology these days, it's all very humane. But why would you care about what's humane if you, you're trying well, uh, to mimic was, a lion? Lions eat, aren't humane, are Would they? you eat like mutton? A lion's, I'm not, yeah, so you don't agree with him? No. You didn't agree we should act like lions? No. Well, well, I you don't agree with Do you agree with humane slaughter? What do you mean? Right. Like causing animals the least amount of suffering before you kill them? I think so, yeah. Then why would you care about what a lion does? They cause a maximum no, amount of suffering. Go is... straight for the jugular. No, they don't. They rip antelopes' faces off, fully conscious. I... What do you mean? You think they go for humane kills? Well, luckily we don't have, have to do that. One second. Have you seen lions rip a zebra apart? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, no. they rip their stomach out. Their stomach falls on the ground. They go for the guts first. Um, do you so think do you that's think Should we do vegan? that? I'm just asking you, should we do that? Uh, well, no, I don't think we should do that, but I think... Wait, wait, it... so, so we shouldn't act like lions? Well, there's, uh, subject, there's some part of me that like, humans just need, like. No, but that's a different topic. I'm asking you if we should act like lions because that was the thing that you said. No, I'm just saying that that's an example of nature where animals eat. I just want to figure out if you want to bite the bullet on acting like lions in nature. What do you mean? Oh, no, I never said I would never. I would never go out and like rip a zebra's face off. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. So it's wrong to act like lions act when you're a human being in civilization, yeah? Yeah, but like okay, I still but, think we should so, eat. So we don't. We don't have to mimic our behaviour based on the actions of lions, right? Yeah. I'm glad you pulled off that position because I think it's yeah. insane. And lions kill and eat each other's babies and that, you know that, right? Yeah, I know, but that's, that they have to, like, it's yeah, nature. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but so we do don't think have lions to, do we? should be vegan. We, we don't have to, though, do we? I'm not, I'm not debating a lion, I'm debating you. And then, so you sat is... down, I'm, I'm saying you have a moral obligation to. Not well, you, you're not a lion, all right? Because a lot of people uh, like I'm to point like, to lions. I'm just using like a little, but would you eat mutton, you know, like a dead, one that's died naturally, mm -hmm. you know? I actually give a little bit more reverence to the life of an animal than yeah, just to like, desecrate their surely, remains. Surely, surely it actually be Because I believe animals should have rights, like, you know how you have a right right now, if someone abused you, killed you, enslaved you, yeah. they would go to prison, you have rights protecting you. Yeah. I think animals should have like fundamental rights protecting them as well, well. Let's just like, if a sheep died, I think the best way to like really preserve its memory is to- Eat their dead body? 
Well, like, that, use it, yeah. Have you had, like had any family members that have died recently? Uh, or not no. recently at all? Yeah, yeah. Okay, would you eat them to preserve their memory? Uh, no, I don't think I would, actually. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's because they're human, like. Yeah, but what's the... Okay, it's just, a, it's just an argument. For asking me, someone who respects animals, if I would eat their dead body for no reason... I don't need to to survive. But in like, a survival situation, I would look for a hundred years ago. You, uh, you wouldn't be able to survive without be, like, yeah, being vegan. Well, I'm not debating you in a time machine, dude. Yeah, I'm but debating, I'm just saying, like, no, no, one, it's one, pretty unnatural. Who cares isn't it? what they did a hundred thousand years ago? They used to rape and kill each other, and there was no laws, and who cares? Yeah, but even fifty so years ago, care? like you would still, you would you still struggle to be a vegan. How long's veganism been around for? I'm not sure. Well, yeah, there were vegans like thousands of years ago. Five years. Five years. No, no, no. There's a guy who wrote a vegan poem about two thousand years ago, and veganism was coined in 1944. Yeah, okay. These are all side issues. Why aren't you? vegan because that's like a pig yeah so, so, you, so you like the taste of it well i've been that's probably more closer to the what yeah that of why what is the justification for not being vegan well, well it's, it's, it's healthy. so you think it's a health, a health thing yeah. yeah is that why you're eating uh hungry jacks for for health burger king. burger king sorry we call it hungry jacks in australia do you do that for a balanced diet I do. yeah exactly so, so like a lot of things we do are for pleasure right yeah you said i like to eat pigs yeah so that's Sometimes. probably why you eat meat eh yeah. And you, you mentioned a cultural factor, like we've been conditioned to kind of thing, yeah. like we eat meat because we were brought up to, because everyone else does. Yeah. So do you think either of those things, like li we'll start with liking the taste of something, do you think liking the taste of something justifies doing something horrible, like murdering someone to eat their body? No, I don't think that, but like, okay. I think... So it doesn't justify it? Well, no, but I think like... You know, it's just part of humanity, I think. Lots yeah. you can avoid. A lot and of things are part of humanity. Rape and murder are as well. So is war. Well, so is no killing part. children. Humans abuse children. So would you say a rapist is a Child bad abuse as a is part of humanity. Would you say it's like, a bad part of humanity. But I don't think you, it's, it's human. Would you say I'm as bad as a rapist because I eat meat? That's not what... Dude, is left what field. Say? I never said that. You said we eat well, meat because it's part you... of humanity. Yeah. And I said there are a lot of horrible things that are part of humanity. Yeah. Rape is part... So I don't care if it's part of humanity, basically, is what I'm saying. Now, you said am I as bad as a rapist. Obviously, there's an indirect consequence of your action here and a direct consequence of raping. So whose fault is it then that I yeah, eat meat? Uh, when you... Well, there's a lot, a lot of sociological factors like cultural conditioning, why you do something. I think it's disconnect. Yeah. Why you do, and why you do as well, because that was for me, I was disconnected from the slaughterhouse, didn't know the animal, I was just eating meat, I wasn't eating the murdered flesh of a being who didn't want to die. It's easy for you to go in there and buy a burger, right now you can, yeah. Yeah, it's completely legal, no one, no one will judge you, you yeah. I don't know if you've seen what happens to animals inside a slaughterhouse. Have you? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you? I know, I know. They kill them, don't they? Do you know what happens to the animal in terms of like their experience when they're in a slaughterhouse they, about to die? I think they get shot. I mean, so, what do you want to do? Like, uh, it's all well and good stopping me, but overall, what are you, what change are you trying to make? You're going to try and go to Parliament? No, I like people like yourselves. Like, how old are you? You're younger, right? I'm just trying to create like a bit of a thought about this topic yeah, like, with you I think first, because yeah, like but... planting a seed in your mind. Like, I'm trying to figure out how you think it's justified. Obviously, we went to lions. You went to, but a hundred thousand years ago, we had to do this. And but it's part of humanity. So was slavery. So so is all this horrible. There are good things about humanity. There are also bad things about humanity, right? I'm trying to figure out how you can justify it, knowing now, right, that you can go in there also, you can get a vegan burger for yeah. pleasure. You can do that. Yeah, but that's, can... they still kill the pigs. It's not going to make a difference, is it? Really? In a vegan burger? Already, like, thousands of pigs have died for them. I might as well eat the meat that they've yeah, done but, stuff so, to. Do you... But if you, you get a vegan you know, it's not going to make a difference. Funds the killing of the, yeah. the company. It's not actually how supply and demand works, so basically, when they restock, they restock yeah. with vegan stuff. So you create a supply chain for vegan stuff. This is just an outlet. But down the line, there's a slaughterhouse on the end of the burger. But down the line, there's plants on there. Yeah, it's but it's about the chain. There's really like I, supply I and know. demand. You know, supply and demand. Yeah. Eh? Like you buy, you buy drugs. A drug dealer goes and gets more drugs. I don't and buy you, drugs. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying, supply and demand, isn't yeah. it? If you demand something like slaughterhouses, yeah. the slaughterhouses only exist because everyone here demands they do yeah. through their purchase habits. Yeah. That's why I talk to consumers. But if I so, but in there, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't know how many dead pigs are there in there right now, but let's just say I think it's probably a good idea instead of eating the vegan stuff to actually because like that this if I don't eat it, it's going to go into the bin, isn't it? Like you know what I mean? It's probably good to actually make the pig the death at least have there some might sort be of... there might be a little bit of waste at the start, but then they'll stop breeding pigs into existence and slaughtering them if everyone. So has there been a a has there been a reduction in the production of meat since veganism arose? So you have to factor in population growth. So the population is growing and basically you need comparative data to suggest that if yeah. no one ever did anything, if the vegan movement didn't exist, if the animal rights movement or vegetarians didn't exist, would it would it have grown quicker? And more awesome. and, and I think of course you can make the claim that it would, but you need comparative data to suggest that not veganism's done nothing. And once you get to a tipping point, like let's just say everyone here stops buying meat, you start getting vegan options, which is why there are vegan options in Burger King and KFC yeah. and everywhere, because yeah. of supply and demand. Everyone's consumption matters. 
Like over the course of your life, how many animals do you think go to the slaughterhouse for you? Quite, I don't know, quite a few probably. Yeah, probably a few hundred a year or something. Chickens and fish and da da da. Yeah, but so do you think what about like, instead of being vegan, what about like just vegetarians, you know, like just one step? It's probably easier, isn't it? Yeah, instead of saying like an obligation, do you not think it would just be better to encourage it? Because you were saying about the, the social factors. Instead of just a sudden drastic change, we not ease into it. Let's just say you were bashing um, people with black shirts on, red shirts on, and yellow shirts on, right? And then you said, look, man, like, I get it. It's like, they're ba it's bad to bash people, but I'll just, I'm just going to bash people with black shirts on from now on. So uh, I'm just going to re reduce to black shirt bashing. I would say well, we know bashing is wrong, don't we? So like, I would not, I would still think that that was a, a bad thing, mm -hmm. but you, it's less bad than the the, uh, the alternative, right? Because the dairy cows and the egg laying hens and all that are still slaughtered, aren't they? Yeah. Do you know that? Do you, yeah. do you know that they're slaughtered? Because a lot of people don't know that with through eggs and dairy, that the yeah, animals, they probably have a better life, don't they? They have a better life. Yeah. Nah, it's usually it's usually worse actually. Would you say that it's better if they just don't exist in the first place then? Right? Yeah. So, but then they don't even experience anything. Yeah, well, well, for one, most of the animals here are factory farms, so they're experiencing hell when they're in, when they're born. In my family, they know like the the pro where we're getting our produce from. We know that the farmers will like treat the animals fairly. I would believe you, but you're eating out of Burger King, so like, you I'm mean, not I've been doing. Nah, but you just said yourself. There is a dead pig in there. Let's be nah, honest. Nah, there is. You nah. said it yourself. Nah, but brother, yeah, but you know, you don't just eat meat from your family supplier, is what I'm saying. That's the majority. I'd say 95 percent. They do eggs, milk, dairy, pigs, it's fish. A, it's a local farm. It's a local farm that do fish and pigs and chickens. Not fish. I don't really eat fish. You don't eat chickens. I eat chickens. Yeah. Oh, do they? And they kill the chickens there. Yeah. Okay, so they do chickens. Yeah. They, they do pigs. Yeah. They do cows? Yeah. And they do milk? Milk, yeah. And they do eggs? Yeah. And lamb as well. They're, They're like a one-stop meat shop. I mean, I would believe you, but I'm doing this a long time and a lot of people do say that to me and I just think, like, everyone eats whatever they can whenever they, wherever they're out, like, you yeah. know. And even if that were true, like, there are some people who only eat meat from one supplier and they usually, like, on a carnivore diet, they eat from one place. I don't think that that's you, but let's just say it was. Like, it would still, in my view, be a rights violation of those animals to murder them so you can eat them. Once you exist, right? Yeah. You've had a good life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you've had a pretty good life. I don't, I don't see you suffering that much. Like, I mean, it might have been not so good, but yeah, reasonably right. good right decent, now. You were content. Decent. Would it be humane if I come up behind you and shot you in the back of the head? No. To eat you? I'm going to eat you. I'm not going to... Yeah. You're not going to go to waste? No, I think that'd be all right. It's okay? Yeah. So it's humane? But well, I think no. We have no. a conscience, though. You have a conscience, so it's wrong to kill you. Like, what do you mean, like a feeling of right and wrong in your heart? Yeah. You mean a conscious consciousness? Cons yeah. Yeah, animals are conscious as well. Yeah, but they so don't have it's like, a advanced thoughts. Yeah, they haven't like created. Yeah, but a lot of humans don't either. So is it okay to kill the ones without advanced thoughts? I think it should be based on the like majority. Ah, uh, so so if the majority of beings have the have advanced thought, you can't just take out some minorities and just use that as an example. So wait a second, if the majority of beings have advanced thought, you have to protect the minority within that species? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, so there's a hypothetical uh, race of uh, aliens. The majority of them have um, advanced uh, thoughts. So they're more advanced than us. Let's just say the gap between them and us is the same as the gap between you and a cow. Yeah. All right? Mm -hmm. So is it okay for them to treat us like cows are treated by by us because they have more advanced thought. I mean, like once you reach a certain level, if you're aware of what's going on to a certain extent, then and cows don't meet that threshold. I would not say so. Uh, how do you know? I don't. But okay. It's just a thought. Can cows feel pain, suffering? It depends on the way they killed them. Yeah. They killed in a in a, the most ethical way possible. So it's only okay to to ethically kill. I'm, I'm against like slaughterhouses and things like that. Yeah, well, you get your you get your meat from slaughterhouses, don't you? Where does a farmer get his meat from that that supplies your house? He has a farm. Yeah, but where do the animals go from the farm? I don't know. They go to a slaughterhouse, a local slaughterhouse. No, I'm pretty sure they're killed ethically, or I don't think I would be happy. Have you ever seen what happens in a local slaughterhouse? No. I've stuck cameras in one before. Oh, yeah. Secret cameras and watch them kill the cows in there. Why would you want to go and watch to the expose cows them killed? so people like you can realise that what you're paying for is not what you think? Oh, okay. So it's not okay yeah. for advanced aliens to do no, to I us. Get, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a supremacist attitude. It's actually Hitler's mindset. You know, they used to kill. Uh, 100%, bro, it was all about supremacy. The Aryan race is supreme yeah. to Jews, to, to disabled people, to old people, we used to kill them all, gas them all. So we have that mentality towards cows and pigs and chickens because they're not on our level. We could torture them. Well, we don't torture, we don't like... You eat tortured animals. What, 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 do you think farmers just go in there and like, start torture? No, nah, but there's legal torture that happens. Well, why would they want to why, torture them? Do, do you want me to talk about legal standard torture? Well, what they, like, just tell me why. Would, okay. What was well, they keep 60% uh, of the, the mother pigs that where the piglets come from in the pork industry in crates for six weeks at a time. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just transport, right? No, 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 they keep okay. them in crates while they're, while they're yeah. farrowing. If meaning they... when, they're, when they're, 
when they're having their piglets, right? They've had their piglets. They put them in crates so they can feed their piglets and they can't turn around for six weeks. If they reformed the farm for you and they didn't do all that stuff and they just let them roam for the whole life well, and they I'm, died I'm, naturally. We can talk about hypothetical for reformed farms, but where you get your, you go in there, don't you? Yeah, something. You go to the local, your parents will go meet from the local shop. Yeah. Okay, most of the animals here are factory farmed. Most of the pigs are factory farmed. Most of them are being tortured. Yeah, but I, let's just, but hypothetically, if they did do reform If they farm, didn't torture them, I'd still say that it's a rights violation to murder them. Just yeah, like, even if they didn't murder them, they just lived on a farm and they just died naturally. And the moment they died, then they shipped them off. Would you agree with that? I mean, a hypothetical world where we ate people who had passed on? No, no, no animals would pass oh, Would you have that position for people? Well, right? animals don't go Wait a second, around. would you be consistent with people? No, because animals don't, be animals don't bury their... They, animals leave their... Like, if an animal... If a, like, let's say, I don't we're know, a couple about humans cows. Behavior here. We're talking about humans' behaviour. Yeah, but like, we're different. Saying, we we are. We like, you can't argue that we're not different from animals. Yeah, I'm not saying we are different, we but are we like... share sentience in common. We're both conscious. You're yeah, thinking we're a lot, on a conscious you? and a higher level. You're thinking a lot, eh? What are you thinking about? Are you thinking about this conversation, right? Yeah. It's... You're having a bit of a, like, existential... Yeah. The consciousness is voice. That we're both conscious, animals and people yeah. are. You know, yeah, like, babies that. are less conscious than a lot of animals yeah, yeah. that we... Murder. You're saying, like, say we had sanctuaries, we didn't exploit animals, we didn't violate their rights, we didn't kill them anymore. So it's some utopian world where we stopped killing animals, yeah? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So you're a vegan, we're all vegans, right? The only time we eat meat is when you see roadkill or animal died naturally. Of so natural you would eat causes. roadkill? No, I wouldn't. Okay. But I don't necessarily have a problem with it. The only problem I have with it is when human beings get the, the lust for meat, like yourselves, like the taste of it, we start breeding and we start mass exploiting we start killing them because that's why people do it. Well I think the problem is right is that with veganism like we live in a democracy and the majority right now are all eat, they're meat eaters so you can't argue against that and I think it's bad to like impose a view it's what a lot of, like a lot of people try to impose views. Is it wrong to impose on others? Yeah I think so. So it's not wrong to impose on animals? Well you're not imposing on them. That's the most imposing we do. I what do you think happens to animals, bro? This... Do you want me to show you some footage? I mean, no, not really. I don't want to see. You don't want to see what happens to them? But you eat video. them. You don't want to see what happens to you them? You don't want to see them. <laughs> why not? But then you'll stop eating it. Why, why, don't, why shouldn't I show it to them? It's pretty man it's like... The point, it's the so point of seeing it's inappropriate. So if it's so inappropriate that you can't, you shouldn't, I shouldn't show it to you, right? Yeah. Why, why would it be appropriate to put it down in your mouth, chew it up and digest it because i love meat because you love me yeah. yeah but you wouldn't love it so much if you knew what happened to the animals though nowadays on the slaughterhouse it's like rare not rare but it's a lot more common than to be killed in a humane way so i've been working in animal rights for about seven or eight years it's worse than it's ever been yeah because people like yourselves right and i was one of them they're sold um advertising so green grass you see the cows in the green grass you see yeah. the hens out on the green grass UK has the highest welfare standards, or it's completely disconnected. All you see is burgers. You don't see slaughterhouses, but what? we go into fa factory farms, slaughterhouses all the time. And there's investigators all over the UK who, no matter what, always pull out something horrible from these places, right? But even if they didn't, even if it was just a sanctuary that took all these animals and shot them all in the back of their head, I would still say that that's just like, it's murder. Yeah. I'd still be against it. But I think the problem with veganism is also it's used as an advertising ploy now because uh, my like, companies, instead of like really believing in it, they just use it as a way to sell stuff. Because there's a demand they don't for care it. About because it. there's a demand for it. So they are meeting the demand. And that's why I was talking about why supply and demand is so important. Like yourself, what, what, who, who cares what I go in and buy? Well, it, do, it matters because then they put on more options. You stop funding the slaughterhouses, right? Yeah, but if like, you care enough. It's going to be like you, don't, like, you don't realize how hard it is even to stop, like, it's gonna be so hard to stop it's everyone. It's a vegan burger in there, dude. Do you want everyone to stop eating meat? Like, is that what you want? Uh, yes, but the reason for that is not to control people. The reason for that is because when they eat animals, would animals are bred and slaughtered to meet that demand. Would you vote for a man, like a, a person to come into, like, into power who imposed a rule, a law, without any voting? That gave animals rights. Yeah, that allowed everyone, that imposed a law Basically, that everyone, because that, that is gave pretty... animals rights. Yeah. And once animals have rights, then they can no longer be enslaved and murdered so you can eat them. Do you believe humans should have rights? Yeah. And should animals have rights, the ones you eat? Uh, yeah, but like, okay. I think they should still be able to eat them. Well, then that's violating their rights. If you look at the food chain, the cow's main Before the food chain, no, 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 no. we're not that's going to the food chain. Purpose, we're not going to the food chain. Because the food chain's horrible and we talked about the food chain because lions straight out... Yeah, it. but it's natural, like, you can't stop it. It's we're, just... we're, we're having an ethical discussion, not a natural discussion. You want to have a natural discussion. Oh, I mean, can, that's pretty much There's rape means. and there's murder and there's baby killing and eating in nature. Who cares? Snakes eat deer alive. Because otherwise they'd die. Bear eat baby deer. 
Yeah, bite their otherwise, faces the bear, off. otherwise the bear would die. Yeah, and will you die if you don't violate animal rights? Well, I mean, <laughs> I would rather die than eat vegan bacon. Do you see what I'm saying? You're, you're comparing like bears or lions that are going to die if they don't do something horrible to yeah. yourself who won't die. The question is, if humans deserve rights protecting them from being enslaved and killed and eaten in a steak or a burger, right? Why don't we extend that to animals who have a similar experience to us? You know they can suffer. Do you know animals can suffer? I believe they can, yeah. You believe they can? Like if I was, had a cow here and I shoved a hot iron in their eyeball, their cow would experience that? I think so, yeah. Okay. They can also experience happy things, yeah? yeah. Joy. They love their children. So if they can experience joy and, and suffering, they're having a subjective experience. What happens to them matters to them, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So why shouldn't they have rights then? No, but I would argue that to protect their, their experience. Brains can't comprehend everything mm -hmm. that's going on. Not everything, but neither can babies and children and dogs, but we still protect them, yeah? Yes. yes. They grow, though. Babies like Yeah, but up. dogs. And what about p people with like a severe uh, disability? We still defend them and protect them and they still have yeah. human rights, yeah? But True? Because you, you, like, there are human beings that probably have about the, the capacity of a cow yeah, yeah. and we protect them, don't we? They have human rights. But that's like a very slim minority. Doesn't matter. The, the, the human rights are there to protect minorities. That's why they're there. They're there to protect everyone. And why do we exclude animals? If you think about it, like psychologically, think about it. Like humans, we can't, it's just, it's really like weird for humans to try and connect with a cow like we do with a human. It's just to start like, there is a difference there. You can't. Yeah, but you know, some people have this problem with different races as well. Oh, it's hard to connect with that, them over there. It's hard to connect. But, yeah, but they're deluded. Like, but, I'm talking about yeah, actual people. Yeah, okay, yeah, human beings are human beings, right? And yeah. we know that, that now, but go back. And this racism's still rampant. Race, you think they're deluded, yeah, but racism's still rampant everywhere. Yeah, it but happens, I'm just talking it about happens a lot. Vegan, and it's, I'm not that's racism. racism. Yeah, but, but what I'm talking about, the reason I'm bringing up racism is because speciesism is a form of discrimination that applies to animals. Because if I told you I'm going to shoot this dog in the head and eat them, you'd go, what the f? But if I told you I'm going to shoot this cow in the head for a burger, you probably go, oh yeah, humane, eh? Yeah, but in some places, shooting a dog in the head would be alright. No, I'm asking you. And also, I'm talking about, like, you know how you're talking about the food chain? In some, I'm just asking you. Yeah. Would you have a, a feeling in your stomach about me having a dog right here? Say, is there a dog around? They come up to me. Uh, I'm going to take him in there and slaughter him. You pay me five bucks, I'm going to slaughter him and then make a burger out of him. No, because I wouldn't want to eat dog. No, I don't like the taste of dog. Okay, just, how do you know? Because I just, I guess. If it tastes good, would that, would that be okay to do then? I don't know, yeah, maybe. Yeah? If dog tastes good to you, is it okay to slaughter them to, to make burgers out of them? I think dogs are a lot more advanced than a lot of other animals. So, yeah, yeah a, cow advanced, wouldn't fetch, a cow so, wouldn't so fetch a sick. Like if there's a less advanced dog, one sec, if there's a less advanced dog that's yeah. less advanced than most dogs, is it okay it's for like me to, one earlier, sec? Act on the majority of the species. We've got a majority of our species that is more advanced than the majority of the cow, yeah. uh, majority of the dogs. So it's okay for us to kill the dogs then because we're more advanced, the majority of our no, species. I'm not saying more advanced. I'm saying once it, once I would say once it passes a certain uh, threshold of advanced threshold where it, it can yeah. like take in everything that's going on okay. and it can feel like significant like, emotion. And you think your cow isn't as advanced as a dog? No. Really? And you found out they I were. Don't know. I'm not a scientist. Yeah, well, they are. And pigs are smarter than dogs in many ways. Uh, I don't know what you're measuring. Is it, are you measuring intelligence or experience, te sentience? Experience. Yeah, well, they both, they practically have exactly the same experience. Because when we talk about intel intelligence, that's a different metric. Yeah. how smart you are. Because people, some people are smarter, some people are less smart, but we all have rights, yeah? Yeah. So it's only wrong to kill the dog because they are more advanced than a cow? Yeah, that's what I think. And if a dog is less advanced, we can't kill them because they belong to a species that is the majority more advanced. Yeah. That's your argument. But we can't kill the dogs because we're way more advanced than dogs. We can't kill them because they belong to a species that you perceive as above a certain threshold of advance. Yeah, you know that's, that argument yeah, it hinges on a, an empirical measure of dogs being more advanced than cows. So you think dogs are like one of the most advanced species out of all like all the mammals that we eat. I'd say basically. they're one of the most emotionally intelligent. Yeah, but you need evidence for that. Yeah, but there is evidence. Pigs are more intelligent than dogs in many ways. Yeah. And, and so are cows in many ways. They answer their, their name, they're almost, they're almost equivalent. Yeah. Well, and that's intelligence though. You're talking about sentience. Cows could be more sentient than dogs. Yeah, I know, that's, that's the issue. Yeah. That's why I believe, personally. Yeah. At the moment, at least. Yeah, is that just to justify eating cows or? No, I just think it's the same way humans, we don't go around killing people and eating. Yeah, I'm even though- I don't like go around killing baby cows or anything. Like, 
Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, the reason that um, you, your argument doesn't really work very well is because you've created an arbitrary threshold for sentience and put dogs in there. If we put humans in that, that metric of sentience, they're protected because they're part of a more advanced species, right? But if we create a more advanced species than us, we're already protected because we're above this threshold that you've set. It's like you, you're creating imaginary thresholds that we can't empirically prove yet. And that's what you're basing like the justification of the, the Holocaust of like billions of animals on this arbitrary like sentience threshold that you've created yeah. with dogs. I agree with a lot of what you're saying. The thing is that it's just too hard right now. To, like, it's a big commitment, you have to admit, to be a vegan. Yeah, to change like, everyone. Right, to right it now, it's a big commitment to like change. Ev like, if you live in a family like I do, it's hard to like change everyone's like, thing to just veganism. I think like if, if society develops in a way towards veganism, then it'll be easier. But right now, it's hard to like impose that view. Let me just check something, right? I get I, it might be hard. It might be hard. It's a lot harder to be slashed across the throat with a knife or live in a factory farm or something like that. How many uh, neurons do dogs have? 500 million. That's interesting. Because cows have 3 billion. So dogs have less neurons than cows. I don't know how to how you can empirically measure sentience. Because like... Uh, I think it'll be neurons. That's just how the... Huh? You don't think it's, it's the neurons? synapses and all that yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah. Probably, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think you have any empirics to. So if I if I was going to say to you, do you can you do you know for sure dogs are more sentient than cows? Yeah. So you don't. It might be because I've been so you could be a dog as well. you could be a agnostic on it. Exactly. But like, if you wouldn't kill a dog for a steak, right? You think you should be killing cows for steak? Yeah, but you got you got to look back. Like dogs, have, their purpose in towards us is to be like man's best friend. It's, it's they used to hunt for us, you know, like back then. Why like, do I care? But I'm just saying, if you look at society now, you've seen how it develops. It cows, we've lived a lot alongside cows as food. That's how it's been. Yeah, but so we, thousands slavery of years. has existed for thousands of years, and human beings' purpose was to serve other people. What yeah, but that isn't as rooted as humanity as no, it is, and as it, meat eating is. Slavery, like, isn't. Yeah, what? Well, it was pretty rooted in, well, in every humanity. single, every single, um, one sec, one sec, every single civilization is eating meat. Not every single civilization has done slavery. Yeah, so almost, yeah, almost, yeah, yeah, almost meat every single is more rooted every in single advanced than civilization. Slavery. I mean, we could we could do a bit. That's a, that's an empirical claim. I'm, I'm pretty sure every nearly every single advanced civilization had slavery at one point in time. Yeah, but meat eating is just, it's different though. It's not slavery, like you can't compare. No, but I'm just, no, we're not talking about that. He said, because the, the dogs serve a purpose to us. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. that's she, their purpose. They're not, yeah. we, they don't serve a purpose. We don't they, they, their purpose is to be, to be our companions and protectors. Yeah. Of, of yeah. Which, yeah. And then you're saying that cow's purpose is to be shot in the head and eaten, yeah? Not shot in the head, but to be eaten, yeah. They have to get shot in the head. You, you always add that in to make it sound well, more in, dramatic. Yeah, because you saying. skip that part out, see? Yeah, just you saying. delete that part from the equation. They have to be murdered. They, they're not all getting shot. Yeah, the some of them can just get slashed across the throat. No, but there's, there, there's now, I, I thought they did it in like shocks now, where it's just quick. No, and not cows. Been... They can't. No, so they, you... they, they shoot them in the head so with you... a captive bolt pistol. Yeah, so they shoot them in the forehead and then they cut their head off. Against but I just want to um, stick to the purpose thing. So if someone serves a purpose, yeah. um, and that's their purpose, yeah. that's their purpose because we say it's their purpose? Or well, yeah. What gives us the right to dictate what your purpose is? What gives, is it power? If we're more smarter than certain species or stronger? Well, we are, we are smart. Yeah, You've got to admit, okay. we are the most powerful yeah, but, um, species. Is that what it is? If we're smarter than a certain species, that gives us the right to dictate what well, their purpose is. You know, right, society would not be here without the, the role of animals. No, I'm asking you, you a question. You're not answering the question. You're not answering the question, bro. Yeah, go on. If we are smarter than a certain species, yeah. does that give us the right to dictate what their purpose is? Well, I think somehow, yeah, somewhat, yeah. Yeah, so even though they're sentient, they experience the world, what happens to them matters to them. Because we are smarter, we, we, can, we can dictate what their purpose is to us. So it can be to be shot in the head, cut up into pieces and eaten, or it can be to, to live in our backyard or to be a protect, we, we just dictate that. We, we choose who lives, who dies, because we're smarter. Yeah, is that a, an ethical view? Well, yeah, is that well, your ethical view? Well, I think if you look, if you just look back at history, we wouldn't be here right now if we hadn't used like animals the way we have. No, but I just ask you a question. It's, it's the biggest key to humanity's you, progression. The question is, you can't admit. Yeah, you, but you, the you question's still on the table. You didn't answer. I was just saying, because we're smarter, is that give us the right to dictate yeah. what their purpose? Yeah. yeah, the answer is yes. I think so. Okay. Yeah. So. If a group of beings are smarter, they can dictate what another group of beings who are who are, are, are less smart what their purpose is. Yeah, not not in that way because you're gonna make me like, you're gonna say I'm sort of no. Yeah, because you know we could just take, take we could just take all the disabled you, you people. Always, you we could take all the to make no, you I'm sound not. like a bloody like Nazi or something. It is Nazi thought. I'm not it's trying to make not. you sound like one. Yeah, it is literally this thing. It's a supremacist uh, thought pattern. It's called might makes right. Have you heard of this term terminology? Might makes right. Uh, no, no. Because I can do something. 
uh, because we're more powerful than a certain group, a minority or those who are less intelligent, we can do what we want to them because we say so. Now we can do that. We could do that to different races. We could do that to different people, people of different intelligence. A race of aliens could come here and do that to us. Mm -hmm. And we'd be screaming out, this is, a, this is a unjustified, wouldn't we? Yeah, I guess so. So why do we get to do it to other animals? Is that not hypocrisy? Yeah, but like other animals had the opportunity to, to rise up. Like this is oh, it's a horrible train of thought, man. Eh? So like if they don't have the ability to be able to defend themselves from us, then we can do what we want to them or we can dictate what their purpose is. Well, no, we none, no one here has dictated it. People from thousands no, of years you are, ago you have. You've got to live that way. Yeah, if you want to live in this world, it, you've got I'm to live that you way. If it's morally justified, though. Well, I, 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 it's not my decision. No, this is a whole dis discussion is about is it ethical to do so? You said yes. Well, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people disagree because it creates like this massive. No, I think moral more people agree though. Yeah, but only people who want to keep eating meat and don't see the hypocrisy in treating yeah, those who are. That's most of the world. So you can't, you can't it's say. That's not that. most of the world. Most of the world actually believe. Most of the world eat meat though. Most of the world eat meat because most of the world are dis disconnected, like you are. I mean, you don't even want to see the footage. That says a lot. You don't even want to see what happens to the victims of your food I've choices. So, so how do you? A think, human you've dying. Seen what happens, see how it. can you be here like defending because it? Because I don't think that's that's the majority in every case. It is well. the majority. The majority of animals are factory farmed. Well, I don't you, know. you can disagree with facts. Just look up on your phone how many animals in the UK are factory farmed. Data. It's about 85% last time I checked. I will think about this, but half around the way. You can, you can, you can go. Off. You can go. That's nice talking to you, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Take care. Hope that, you, hope yeah, that made you think a little bit. Joey Carbstrong. Take care.